we will see first uh, what is ac quantity and uh, uh, we will try to understand wha what is the difference between ac and dc in ac uh, it is alternating current alternating ac quantity the value of it is changing with respect to time see if the time is here if we talk about this the value of the voltage is this if time is here the value is changing so uh, instantaneous value of uh, the voltage is changing with time whereas in dc this is a dc whatever is a time the value is remaining the same if v is a voltage at this moment here also the value is the same so this is dc quantity and this is ac quantity there are many reasons why we use uh, ac quantity jaise ki hum ek uh, ac quantity ek transformer mein ke liye use kar sakte hain kyunki transformer is a very uh, important device uh, jo ek voltage ko kam se kam aur zyada zyada kar sakta hai step up kar sakta hai step down kar sakta hai so this is the first reason that uh, uh, step up or step down uh, hum easily kar sakte hain uh, using transformer of ac second reason why we use ac is the distribution of ac voltage is more efficient than the distribution of dc distribution bahut efficiently kiya ja sakta hai distribution the third reason why we use uh, uh, ac is because the ac induction motor is cheaper in uh, initial cost because of ac induction motor the fourth reason why we go for ac is uh, transmission efficiency it is having a very high transmission ac uh efficiency at which we can transmit ac is very high maintenance cost is very less in ac now we will see how uh, alternating emf is generated okay now now we will be seeing the how uh, alternating emf is generated this is the magnet this is the magnet and uh, magnet hai ye north and south ye uh, this is the coil with the uh, n number of uh, turns let us consider our, uh, this is a rectangular coil having n number of turns and am square cross sectional area which is rotating uh, in the uniform magnetic field with an angular velocity omega radian per second if in time t the coil rotates uh, theta time t hai it rotates theta through an angle theta from x axis the component of the flux perpendicular to the plane of coil is to the plane of the coil is phi is equal to phi m cos omega t we know from faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction that the induced emf in the coil is equal to the rate of change of flux linkages of the coil again lenz's law states that when a circuit and a magnetic field move relatively to each other the electric field induced in the first in the circuit will have a magnetic field opposing the motion to ye dono hi law ko consider karke faraday's law or lenz's law ko consider karke na uh, the uh, induced emf at time t is given by e is equal to minus n 
d phi by dt which is equal to minus n d by dt because phi is phi m cos omega t which is equal to omega n phi m sin omega t which is equal to omega n phi m sin theta volts. So this is the amount of EMF induced. When theta is 90 degree, अगर theta 90 degree होता है तो E E हो जाएगा omega n phi m which is equal to EM. अगर हम मानते हैं it is EM maximum where EM is the maximum value of the instantaneous voltage. Now if uh, uh, F is if we consider F is the frequency of uh, rotation of coil in hertz. This is F which is the frequency of rotation of the coil in hertz and uh, BM is the maximum flux density. So E ho jata hai EM sine theta which is equal to 2 pi F N B M A sin theta. Uh, so this is the waveform which is generated. This is the AC. Here we will see what is the average value of AC. Now this is the waveform. Uh, iska average agar nikalna hai to uh, we take uh, different lengths jaise ye i1 liya i2 liya i3 liya uh, ab jab average nikalte hain to we add average is equal to uh, i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 plus so on plus i n divided by number of samples we have taken and that is n. So, uh, we can write this as it is the area of one alternating alternation upon length of of base over one alternation. Okay, so this is the average of the AC. Okay, we will find out the average and effective or RMS value of sinusoidal current. So I average is the area of uh, area of uh, first half cycle divided by the base that is pi. So uh, area of the first half cycle upon pi uh, in the integration form we will take it. It is uh, 1 upon pi uh, integration 0 to pi i d omega t where i here is uh, i here is i m sin omega t so putting the value of i here we will get uh, this and integrating this we will get the answer this so the average current in a sine wave is 0.637 the maximum the peak current i m Similarly, E average, the average voltage here is 0.637 EM, the maximum voltage, the peak voltage of the curve. Okay, now we will find the RMS uh, value of current. I here is IM sin omega t. 
RMS value is root mean square value, area of the first cycle of I square upon the base that is the pi. If we integrate it, we will get this and finally we will get I m square. So, uh, I RMS is root of uh, I m square upon 2 which is equal to I m upon root 2. So here it is I R M S uh, square. I R M S square is this. Now similarly the uh, E R M S the average uh, R M S sorry average R M S value of the voltage is E M root two. RMS value, average value from um, factor and P factor of square wave. This is the square wave. Here I is uh, equal to I m for, uh, for 0 when theta is between 0 to pi and I is equal to minus I m this is minus I am when for theta is between pi and 2 pi. This is a square wave. So first we will find the average current of it. I average. So average current is uh, this and uh, it is 1 upon pi integration of 0 to pi of i d theta i here is uh, i m d theta from 0 to pi so we will take i m d theta after integrating we get this and the answer is i m rms value of current of square wave is given by this and the result is i m so form factor Form factor is given by RMS value upon the average value. Average value. In this case, uh, both uh, the values are IM. So, the form factor will be 1. Peak factor of a square wave is peak value upon the RMS value and here both the values are I am so the P factor here is 1 so uh, in uh, for a square wave uh, the average current is I am the RMS current is I am the form factor is 1 and peak factor is 1. Let's find out RMS value, average value, form factor and peak factor for triangular waveform. Uh, triangular wave uh, uh, current, triangular current wave is shown uh, in the figure. I is equal to I am. This is I is equal to I am. When... Uh, theta is pi so the expression for instantaneous value comes out to be i m by pi theta for theta is less than 0 less than pi greater than 0 and less than pi so first we will find out rms value i rms is equal to this is the RMS value of a triangular waveform. The average uh, value of current is I am by 2. The form factor is RMS value upon average value and uh, it is uh, it comes out to be 1.155 and peak value is the peak value peak factor is, is uh, the peak value upon the RMS value which comes out to be root 3 in triangular wave.